Hi, today we'll talk about longest substring without repeating characters. Pretty simple question that says, given a string S, find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. Like in this input, A, B, C, A, B, C, B, B, we have to find which is the longest substring which has unique characters, not non-repeating characters. So we can see A, B, C could be the longest substring or we can also find B, C, A is also the answer. So the answer is three. Now let's go and see how we can implement two pointer coding pattern and how we can solve this. All right, so how we will go with this question, which is about longest substring without repeating character. We will discuss about this question, what is being given and what they were asking from us. Second, we will take some example, then we will apply and look why we can apply the two point coding pattern. Fourth thing, we will look for functional approach, how we can implement that in a functional way. So let's talk about what is the question. So first they will provide us some string and they were expecting from us that we have to implement some function which will take this string and then will return some answer and that answer will say what is the longest substring without repeating character in the provided input. Pretty simple question and let's take some example. Suppose we take an example B, A and what we apply for the two-pointer coding pattern. First, let's talk about how why we have to apply the two-pointer coding pattern. Uh, in the previous discussion, we found that uh, when there are three conditions, the first that some int array or some int list is given, so a collection is given, which is sorted, otherwise we were going to sort that. And second, um, they were expecting some some collection, some specific collection that is constrained with the condition. This is these were the three things we were looking at, and how this this question falls into the same category of two point coding pattern is in this case they have provided us a string. They were expecting some some longest substring. They were looking for that and condition is that yeah these these are the two condition also the first is it should be longest the plus it should be unique non-repeating character so this is what they were asking so these two things tell us that okay we were given this string which is something like uh, if, yeah, in the very start I told you that instead of list of int, which is not sorted, they can also provide some string. And also, in this case, what about the collection they were expecting? In this case, they were expecting longest substring. And what is the condition? They're saying without repeating character. So every character should be unique. So yeah, we can apply two-point coding pattern and how it will be. It will give you intuition that it's pretty natural that we should use two point coding pattern. So the left one, we will say there are two things, the left and right pointer. And we were looking for longest substring. Initially, we will say it's zero. Now, let's say I will stay here and right, you should go forward. So right will say, okay, I will keep on going one step each. And I will tell you when I will get something repeating. Then I will tell you. So right will say, I will keep on moving one step further. And once I will find any character which is repeating, which came before here, I will tell you left where you have to go next. Okay, so they both agree with it right will move one step forward right said so i'm here in this case still he never found anything which is repeating and we will say okay longest is now two but yeah initially it is uh, one here 
then it found two now it will right will say okay move forward right will go again it says okay i found something new character it says, okay now it's three at that point right say keep on moving right keep on moving further so all these uh, four characters are non-repeating we will keep on noticing our uh, our progress we say longest is four at that moment and right is so clever at each step he was also recording he was making a record of each character so he said i found b at index zero because he has to tell to left where he has to make a jump so he said okay at step a it is at index one c is at index two d i found at index three now at this point four once move right once move forward here it said oh i found something which is already in my record and it's repeating and it says this a is now at index four and previously i found it at index one so we it will say to the left you should make a jump if your index is bigger than this index then remain there if this is bigger then you have to move right to this so okay it looks a little confusing but let me make it in a simple phrase so right will say you have to make a jump so you take two things what is left what is your index in left say my index is zero and right said i found the character which is repeating and its index is one and that was left currently right now and this is the index which was repeating which he found between uh, between left and right so these this this character is repeating so it says i found this character at index one so which is maximum he said one is maximum now right said go to the go to the right one index further to a so he is suggesting that left should come here why he has to come here because this character is already with with the right index so there is no reason that if we say left should come here because again it's not a repeating character so we'll so right say to the left you should move next to the character where i am right now so it will come here and at that moment the range this one is two so it will say i am already in the longest which is four why i have to go with two so it will say okay keep it moving so right will move further and it will say yeah i found another character which is uh, repeating so he will also change yeah previously i never mentioned so right what it will do it will say okay cancel this index and instead of note the largest which is four now okay come back here with the, again the same situation so right is at this index he said okay i found the same character which was repeating at index two so you have to come to the right of this two and in this case left will move right here so this range is again less than our previously locally found four length so it will say okay we are good with that so this is how two point coding pattern will implement now we will talk about this four part that how we will apply the functional approach at it so for the functional approach i already told you that we will take this string we'll say zip with index so zip with index will take each character like at this point it will say zip this b with zero a with one c with two d with three so it will zip them at at this point and next it we what we will do we will say take a fold left fold it just like a simple thing you have to
fold so here yeah. so once you fold anything that's the same exactly thing with the folding but yeah it makes a tree which I told already in the very starting video so we will fold left and I already told in the fold left what we were going to use here is that what we were expecting to change conditionally this is gonna change conditionally that we will use here so what is going to be changed at this point we'll say left which should be at index 0 the longest will be 0 and because right was creating a map for each step so we will use a map here now we will make a case and we'll tell the first one is the left index right is the longest what we were recording with each step of right and we will take a map which has a record of everything and because we have zip with index so we will get actually the character here and that will be the right index which is moving naturally with each step so once we will do that pretty simple the logic will be at the first step what we will do we will try to find so if it it has found this character already in the map so we will again come with the, this condition with that one where we talk about we will take the left index we will take the index of the character which right found in the map so we will take the max out of it so we will take the max from the left one and the character we found in the map the second thing what we will do we will simply found the local uh, longest uh, like here on each step we were trying to find the previous one we found the longest is that one the longest or the current one so we will say right minus left plus one is this is longest or the previous one which one is longest and finally we will provide all these three updated state so we will say that is the new left and this is our longest which we found during the iteration and that's our updated map so updated map will simply we get the character and we will map with the right index so it is recording each character with this one that's a pretty simple solution maybe it's maximum six seven lines of solution of this question let's go for the for the solution all right welcome back now we see how we can implement this question we already told that we will apply two pointer coding pattern uh, first we will zip with index then we will apply a fold left where uh, we're actually left longest will be considered let's go to the back to the code and hopefully it will be pretty simple so we will say s zip with index dot full left and uh, that will be the left which should be the that left one which should be at index zero initially the longest uh, length is zero and for the right it has to maintain a record of uh, for char and int so let's go for the further case we will say this is our left it is longest that will be over map and uh, this right because zip with index is going to keep a record of char and right here and uh, this one is that's pretty simple once we will come here we have everything we have left we have longest we have map we have character we have right at the first point we will ask the question that new left will be is if let's suppose that map contains that char it does right found this character already if it, it if it had so we will say maths dot max because that that could be the possibility that this character was repeated before left character 
So that's why we are going to say math.max left and map of char plus one. And in the else part, we'll say just keep with where you are. So left will remain where it is if it is not the case. And we will say for the right, for the longest, we'll say for new longest, we are going to expect that math.max, pretty simple, we'll say the previous longest or the current one. Previous longest is longest and the new one, which is possibly right minus new left plus one. And at the end, what we will do, we will say new left because it is updated and we have new long and we were going to, this right is going to keep the record that, okay, I found this character at index right. And finally, once we are done, we, we, we have our answer at the second level of this tuple. So we'll say go for the tuple second level, second place. We don't need actually these curly braces. Okay, now if I will run this code, that's it, pretty simple. Thank you.